Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again, and it's time to go hard up. Are you guys ready? I know I sure am. Crawl, Stuber, and the Art of Self Defense are some of the new releases that are hitting the store shelves today. I'm gonna be going out to the couple of the the usual spots today to see if I can come across anything cool. Uh, this video may seem a little rushed. Uh, today because I'm trying to get on a train to get down to a special screening of Jay and Silent Bob reboot that's in theaters today and in th and on Thursday, you know, through Fathom events and stuff. But if you guys haven't seen my last video that I posted this weekend, I went to LA Comic Con and uh, got to have a special photo op slash meet and greet with Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes in their Jay and, Jay and Silent Bob getup. If you guys haven't seen that video yet, link to it in the description box of this video. But also, uh, there's something else that came out today uh, on Blu-ray that you guys can all get right now on eBay only. And uh, that is a movie I'm in with Gabriel and Luna and my homeboy Aaron and Frankie. And the movie Hour to Kill. An Hour to Kill came out on Blu-ray, man. Uh, my friend Aaron made a, a you know a small limited run uh, of, of this film on Blu-ray. Ray. I believe it's a little less than 100 copies of, of it on Blu-ray, but it's on sale right now on eBay. Uh, it's a horror, you know, horror anthology film with three different stories, but it's about two hitmen, uh, you know, sh you know, sh you know, telling stories to one another uh, before they have to go out on a hit. And uh, it's, it's actually, if you guys love anthology films, you know, it, it, it's a fun flick that I worked on, you know, you know, with the crew and stuff and the the the, the horror segment that I'm a part of. Um, I pretty much, you know, help shoot and edit the you know the whole thing and acted in it along with Gabriel and Luna and stuff. But if you guys are interested in getting your hands on a copy of An Hour to Kill here on Blu-ray, check out the top link in the description box to go to the eBay page. I believe it's only 20 bucks and it's free shipping if you guys want to get your hands on one of these. And I'll also have a link to the trailer uh, to the film in the description box also if you guys want to see what the movie looks like trailer-wise. But guys, let's head on out right now and uh, see, uh, you know, uh, what, what else came out today in stores. I almost, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. Um, I have um, a package. Uh, in the mail that came, uh, Royal Mail, which I'm going to unbox uh, when I get back home, so stay tuned for that. At my first destination of the day, the local Salvation Army. Alright guys, let's head up in there and uh, see if they have anything new since the last time I was in there. Well guys, just got into the Salvation Army over here and one of the first DVDs I saw <laughs> when, I, when I walked up in here, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. How weird is that? Since it's the newest one's coming out uh, today, you know, Fathom Event style, uh, you know, today and Thursday. But uh, that's cool, man. But uh, so I'm going to search through here and see what else they have, you know, going on. What? What is this, like a, a Kevin Smith week when it comes to, you know, when, when it comes to the physical media here? Like, what else am I going to find part of the View Askew universe? But, uh, yeah, if I find anything cool in here, I'll definitely, you know, uh, pull it out and... An old HD DVD uh, up in here. I, this movie was okay when I saw it back in the day, Into the Wild. You guys remember that one? This one right here, when it, when it first came out, I didn't really care about it, but uh, Sliding Doors was actually not that bad uh, of a film. But, you know, so far it just looks a lot like a lot of the, you know, stuff I've, or I already have, or, uh, you know, just like generic -y, uh kind of things that you see, you know, at, at all these different thrift stores. Uh, but that that's pretty rad. Now that's pretty rad. Surf ninjas, can't, you can't go wrong with that. All right, guys, off to my next stop of the day. Hope with the Valley Thrift Store. Haven't been in here in a little while, so let's go on in. And all I really see is like a bunch of VHS tapes uh, that they have here. No real, they, you know, other formats and stuff, but that's kind of cool. You know what I mean? Like coming into the old school stuff I grew up with, you know, format-wise was, uh, you know, of course, you know, VHS back in the day. I know, I know there was Laserdisc and stuff, but I never really, I never really, you know, um, got into, you know, Laserdiscs and things. But it's cool to come across a store that just has, you know, straight VHS in it and things. Whoa. Worlds of Music. The, one of the, uh, you know, Julie Garden slash Mickey Rooney movies. They were like a really good, a really good, um, you know, duo, if you guys ever seen some of their flicks that they did. And I, I believe, like, Judy Garland really wanted to, the, to, um, to be with Mickey Rooney back in the day, but it just never happened. 
because uh, Mickey, I, I guess Mickey Rooney had his own thing, but they were like really good friends. But this is right here is kind of cool to come across. One of my favorite movies of all time, but you know, v, you know, VHS status. Now and then, man, me and my sister have seen this movie so many times. Like this is probably the movie that me and my sister saw the most in the theater uh, back in the day when it, you know, when it first came out. This is, of course, like the female version of Stand by Me. But I have my uh, DVD of this uh, movie signed by Christina Ricci, Thora Birch, and now Devin Sawa uh, at, at home right now. But that's all I'm really seeing over here. It's just like a whole bunch of, um, you know, VHS stuff. And from my homeboy, Cody Blythe, bam. All right, guys, that's my last stop of the day. Let's head on in there and uh, see what kind of new releases came out today. Well, guys, that... Well guys in Best Buy right now at the new release rack up front over here and some of the new stuff that came out today was actually Stuber uh, on Blu-ray and 4K. I don't know but the movie Stuber was actually kind of funny uh, to be honest man. I, I saw it in theaters and uh, thought, thought it was kind of enjoyable. We also got Teen Titans Go versus Teen Titans uh, that came out today. Crawl uh, on Blu-ray. I got like a little promotional pack of this uh, a week or so ago from Paramount. Actually a, a fun a little, you know, a fun little creature, creature feature. Uh, we also got the Hellboy out on 4K, and a, we got the Blu-ray steelbook, a 4K steelbook right here of, uh, you know, Guillermo del Toro's uh, Hellboy. Not that new reimagining of a uh, Hellboy, but also Scarface, man. Uh, it came out today uh, for the first time on the new 4K format. But also, it looks like they only have a few copies of it here, but three from Hell, the new Rob Zombie flick, you know, part of the... Uh, Firefly Trilogy, which was, you know, House of a Thousand Corpses, Devil's Rejects, and now this. I, I did a review of this one uh, a few, uh, a week or two back uh, in a hoarding up video. If you guys want to go back and see what, what I, my thoughts on this. Didn't love it, didn't hate it, but uh, Devil's Rejects is my favorite of the, of the, of the trilogy, uh, to be honest. And I believe this one came out today, too. Night Hunter. Don't really know anything uh, much about that one. And also over here on this cart of the, of the new releases that they're still putting out right now is that, you know, Twin Peaks, uh, the television collection here uh, on Blu-ray. Uh, never really got into the show. Uh, to be honest, but this is the first time it's uh, being released on Blu-ray in that weird kind of, you know, uh, you know, ch cheaper, cheaper, cheapy-ish, you know, kind of packaging. I don't know if I like that kind of packaging, to be honest. And this is that Scarface set uh, that I was talking about that I may be getting a, a, a review copy of soon with that, you know, the globe over there, you know, with the little figurine in there. Uh, that looks, th this set looks kind of cool. And I'm not sure how much this one is going for because there's no price yet because it's still on the cart you know over here and another new release that came out today is the art of self-defense which is the film starring jesse eisenberg about you know martial arts and how he's kind of like a nerdy guy that works in this office and always he's always getting kind of picked on and like one day he's walking home from work and these guys like you know beat the sh kind of beat the shit out of him and then he, you know, he goes to this martial arts school and wants to learn how to you know kick people's butts it's actually a really a, a really fun you know real real dark comedy uh i, I kind of i kind of enjoyed this flick i believe it's, it's only getting a you know a blu-ray release there's no 4k of it coming out or anything but I recommend you guys check this one out. It's actually good. You know, I really did enjoy it when I saw it in theaters. And of course, uh, Ultraman and Ultra Q uh, came out uh, today on uh, Blu-ray. These are the Steelbook uh, versions of them. Uh, I believe, yeah, these are the Mill Creek, uh, you know, editions of them. I, I'm not gonna lie, never seen an episode in my life, you know, of these, but these are being, these are out. All right, guys, out of Best Buy right now. The only thing I picked up today for this video was Stuber. Really enjoyed this film when I saw it in theaters. Thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, I was thinking about maybe getting The Art of Self-Defense also, but um, I, I can't get both right now, to be honest. I gotta, like, you know, watch the funds just a little bit. You know what I mean? But I got Stuber today. But uh, right now, guys, let's head on home uh, for that little unboxing. All right, guys, I'm back home now uh, from my outing adventure, my hoarding adventure for today. But like I said, I got a package in the mail. Uh, it says it's Royal Mail, so most likely this is something I ordered, uh, you know, offline. So uh, I got this like, but this this past uh, Saturday, this past weekend. So I was holding off on it to open it for the video and things. So I'm gonna open this bad boy, and I I think I know exactly what this is, but I I thought it was gonna be a bigger, thicker thing, uh, to be honest. Because if this is what I think it is, it's coming from this company uh, called Eureka. And I just love some of their stuff that they put out. So I'm gonna open. Let's open this up, and I'll show you guys. Hopefully, this is what that. Hopefully, this is what that thing is. 
I just thought it was going to be in a bigger packaging. Cause that's what some of the other stuff, uh, multi-pack stuff has been like. But I'm going to open this up and let's get in here. Let's get into this. Let's get into this bad boy. Is this what I think it is? Uh, ah. Oh, come on. It should be simple than that. Yep, it's from Eureka. It's exactly what I thought it was going to be. Let's get in here. Really excited about this. I bought this thing. It was like... I'm not even exactly sure how much exactly it was. It was like, you know, uh, what was it called? Thir uh, 30 EE, or, you know, 30 E, whatever it is. Uh, but the, the thing that's in this package right here is a three film collection. Uh, the three films of Sammo Hung uh, here on Blu ray. I, if you guys are into martial art movies or, you know, kung fu flicks, you know exactly uh, who Sammo Hung is. Uh, but this set right here uh, features Eastern, Eastern Condors. Uh, the Iron Fisted Monk, and my personal favorite, uh, The Magnificent Butcher, all for the first time on Blu-ray, and it has a slew of, uh, you know, some special features on here, and all three films come with the original English dubbing uh, that they had on the previous editions that I've had in, in the past on DVD, and of course the original language tracks uh, and everything like that, new 2K scans, uh, 2K restorations uh, of these films on Blu-ray, really, really cool. Uh, to add these, uh, you know, to my to my collection here, because uh, I, I bought like a a, th a three pack before or, or multi pack before from this company, and they came in they came in like a thicker a thicker case. Let me show you what I'm talking about. But another thing that they put out was the you know Once Upon a Time uh, in China trilogy uh, here on on, on Blu-ray, and it comes with like the, each movie comes in its own little case, and it's like you know it's like a thicker thicker thing. I was hoping that. The, you know, the, the Samu Hung uh, Blu-ray trilogy here uh, was going to, you know, come in a, a case like that. You know what I mean? But now, I, since I'm a Samu Hung fan, I already have, like I said, the Iron Fisted Monk already, you know, on DVD. I don't need that DVD anymore. And I can, like, you know, em empty out some of my, you know, some of my collection over here. Because this is like my Samu Hung uh, kind of collection going on that goes into the Jet Li stuff. And, of course, you know... Eastern Condors, which is in that set. I don't need that DVD anymore, really. But you see what I'm talking about, guys? That set was like, you know, kind of thick and juicy. And this one just comes in a regular Amray case. Oh, you know, slipcover or whatever. But still cool to get these movies on Blu-ray. But guys, that's all I have to show and talk to you guys about today for this hoarding up video. But make sure you guys get yourself a copy of uh, An Hour to Kill here on Blu-ray. Link in the top of the description box. It's a member. It's a film that I made, uh, or I helped make, uh, with my friend Aaron. Uh, Gabriel, Luna, Frankie, uh, and the gang. So if you guys want to support us, check out the link in the description box. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.